Well, certainly the idea of uh, Israeli raids in the occupied West Bank is, is something that takes place on a very regular basis, but not usually ending in this level of, of violence and death. What we know from the Israeli military is that they began their operation uh, in the north of the West Bank, in and around Jenin. There were several arrests that took place, but in one village, the village of Burkin, there was a gun battle that eventuated in the death of at least one Palestinian man, a 22-year-old, uh, the governor of Jenin, saying that two people, two Palestinians, were killed uh, during the course of that gunfight. And then later, in the early hours of Sunday, uh, there was the separate operation around the village of, uh, Bur of Bido. Uh, and in that, three Palestinians were killed. Uh, the Israelis say that they were seeking out a Hamas terror cell that was in the process of plotting an attack uh, inside Israel. Those are the reports coming through army radio. And in that second uh, gunfight, there was a senior Hamas uh, figure killed, Ahmad Zaran, who had been uh, on the run for some time and had been hunted by Israeli forces for some time. The Israelis say that this was an operation they'd been carrying out for some days, at least if not weeks. So there had been some kind of lead up to this. Uh, as far as Hamas is concerned, uh, it is saying that the blood of its martyrs, as it called them, would continue to fuel the resistance against Israel. It criticized the Palestinian Authority for its security cooperation with Israel. The question now, I think, going forward is uh, how this will be uh, received, both in the occupied West Bank, whether there could be further violence there, or indeed, as we saw with the arrests of the prisoners recently, the Palestinian Islamic Jihad prisoners, uh, we saw uh, rockets fired out of Gaza in response after those arrests. Uh, so I think there will be some attention on Gaza, even as there are reports of a potential prisoner exchange being negotiated between Hamas and the Israelis. Uh, this obviously will be a, a point of tension, these, uh, these deaths overnight.